running expensive AI hardware clusters in tents? That's what Meta is doing at its data center campus in Ohio. Is this a scramble to keep from falling behind in the AI arms race? Or is it a disruptive innovation that can reset the speed and cost of AI infrastructure? What exactly is Meta up to with this move? We'll explore these questions and much more on this edition of Data Center Richness. Welcome to Data Center Richness. I'm Rich Miller, and I've spent 25 years telling the story of data centers, cloud computing, and AI infrastructure. In this podcast, I'm sharing conversations with the innovators building our digital future. Now, here's our show. It takes time to build new data centers, along with a lot of money and electricity. But delivery times for data centers have been getting longer due to delays in access to utility power, and supply chain timelines for major equipment, like transformers and diesel generators. And Meta's AI ambitions simply cannot wait. That's why the company is now deploying AI hardware in hurricane-proof tents so it can bring new capacity online as fast as possible. The first news of this approach came from the research firm Semi-Analysis, which featured aerial photos of the unusual new facilities. The report was quickly confirmed by Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg in an interview with The Information. Zuckerberg says, So we pioneered this new method where we're basically building up these weatherproof tents and building out the networks and the GPU clusters inside them in order to build them faster. They are hurricane-proof tents. The meta deployments underscore the urgency of the need for speed in the AI arms race. Zuckerberg is sharpening his focus on superintelligence, also referred to as artificial general intelligence or AGI, in which it faces stiff competition from OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, and others. It's a race that Zuckerberg intends to win. The tents allow faster deployment of GPU clusters that can advance Meta's AI ambitions. But in recent comments, Meta executives suggest that the new design may not simply be a stopgap measure while it waits for new data center capacity. Rachel Peterson, the VP of Data Center Services, said, This approach challenges the status quo of our traditional data center delivery allowing us to move at unprecedented speed and demonstrating our spirit of innovation. There's some history to data centers in tents. Back in 2008, Microsoft design pioneers Christian Bellotti and Sean James operated a rack of servers in a tent for seven months with no server failures or downtime. Until that point, servers had been housed in chilly rooms that felt like meat lockers to extend their lifespan. Microsoft's tent experiment proved that servers were sturdier than believed, laying the groundwork for warmer data holes and the use of fresh air cooling, which brought massive savings in energy use for data centers. Meta's tents are a little more elaborate than the ones that Microsoft pitched in the equipment yard of a data center. They're actually lightweight structures with a sloped roof. Some observers believe these are tensile structures, which stretch membranes around a superstructure to create a durable structure. It's an approach that's often used in stadiums, pavilions, and transportation hubs. The meta structures appear to be designed for air cooling with openings on the side and vents on top, the design is reminiscent of the old Yahoo chicken coop data center design, which was optimized for fresh air cooling. Yahoo introduced its computing coop in 2009 after studying the efficient heat management that they saw in industrial chicken houses operated by Tyson and other large poultry growers. The first implementation near Buffalo, New York, broke new ground in data center efficiency, operating at a PUE, that's power usage efficiency, 
uh, energy efficiency metric of 1.08. It was one of the first web-scale data centers to be cooled only with fresh air, eliminating the use of power-hungry chillers. We should note that this isn't Meta's first adventure in infrastructure light design. Analysts have noted that there are no diesel generators at the facility. That's an approach Meta used in 2015 when it created cold storage data centers for housing older photos. These facilities had no UPS or generators for backup power. It was an internet scale implementation of tiered storage, an enterprise IT strategy that prioritizes data and assigns it to different types of storage media to reduce costs. Facebook used standard hard disk drives and also experimented with Blu-ray disks in its cold storage facilities. So let's go back to our initial question. Is this a short-term play to get more GPU clusters available or a more disruptive shift to an infrastructure light design that offers cheaper and more nimble framework for AI deployments? The answer likely depends on the details of the infrastructure inside the tent and what type of hardware this design can support. That, in turn, depends on whether this is solely an air-cold design or it can eventually integrate a liquid cooling. Older AI hardware, like the NVIDIA H100 GPUs, can be air-cooled. And there are also some air-cooled configurations for the newer NVIDIA Blackwell series. But most Blackwell designs work best with direct-to-chip liquid cooling, which requires piping and CDUs, coolant distribution units. Direct-to-chip is easiest with building level water supply, and that's trickier to do in a tent or a lightweight structure. Liquid cooling will be even more essential in upcoming NVIDIA platforms like the Blackwell Ultra and Vera Rubin designs, which could push densities as high as 600 kilowatts per rack. We may learn more details about Meta's design as it has a history of contributing its data center and hardware designs to the Open Compute Project, the collaboration movement it founded in 2011 to share its designs for hyperscale computing. In the meantime, what we definitely know is that Meta sees its enormous cash flow from operations as a tool that allows it to approach the AI arms race more aggressively. This is clearly seen in talent, as Zuckerberg has reportedly been offering engineers at rival firms up to $100 million to come and work at Meta. Meta could be taking a similar approach in assessing the risk and reward with its AI hardware. Running GPU clusters in tents might lead to more equipment failures, but that might be an acceptable trade-off if it helps Meta prevail in the AI arms race. As Zuckerberg told the information, quote, we're building multiple multi-gigawatt data centers, and we can basically do all this funded from the cash flow of the company. We have a very strong business model that supports this. I view that as a competitive advantage. Thanks for watching Data Center Richness. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And be sure to subscribe to our channel as this supports our work and helps us bring you more videos about data centers and AI infrastructure.